Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic with your host Kirby Kid and Black Superman. Also known as David Clark and Walter Bryant. And today we're talking about Barry Allen on Arrow. <sighs> that's that's pretty much the only yeah. response you're gonna get from me right now. The way I said it was more exciting than the episode. <laughs> I mean, you know, we look forward to Arrow every week. Every we, week. Do, we we look forward to it. We 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 have an event. We sit down. We eat. You know, it, it's cool. This week's episode was like. The filler episode before the really important episode. I mean, yeah. literally, it's just like they're they stretching it they, out. They did absolutely nothing. Yeah, like they, they wasted at least a good fifteen minutes on on Moira's party, and they wasted another ten minutes on I'm eleven. And yeah, oh yeah, everything. Yeah, well, I was eleven, and when I was eleven, like we know we got it, we got it. It was a forced backstory thing, which will be resolved in his own show. Uh, they wasted time on. Uh, I'm just gonna call him Red Arrow because I forgot his name. Oh, Roy Harper. Roy. Yeah, he, uh, him, and his helping his friend with the, the like the overdose slash he was given super ser- mm-hmm. uh, soldier serum. Now, uh, there there was something really funny that happened in there. Roy <laughs> got an arrow through the leg. Yeah, that, was, you know, that was hilarious. That it, was funny. You don't tell a guy who can kick your butt that you that he can't stop you. Yeah, that, exactly. that's just you, you. You never do that, right? <laughs> and, um, but I mean, so they they waste a lot of time. Uh, it was kind of cool seeing the super soldiers who are way. Way stronger than Oliver, who really should be dead. Yeah, he yeah. was kicked onto the ceiling and bounced off, and then punched really hard in the chest. Uh, side note: Is this how strong Captain America is? I mean, they are super uh, super soldiers here, you know. Or? No, Captain America. Well, see, he's technically not a super soldier. He's just peak he's, human. Yeah, he. Well, These yeah, guys are superhuman. Yeah, I mean, they're they're lifting like. Two ton engines onto their shoulders and walking. Yeah, Cap can't do that on his best day. He could push it. He could talk to it and inspire it to get up and walk. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I mean, so now one thing we th- that we saw that was kind of cool um, was in his backstory. He saw a blur uh, when he was eleven, like mm-hmm. everything else, and uh, the blur is what killed his mom. And uh, you know, we, we were talking. The only thing that makes sense is that that's negative flash going back in time. To try and you know stop him, stop him, but it's gonna make him become the thing or make him become Flash. But that's the only thing that really makes sense. Um, but it's it's because of that. That's why he chases these kind of cases. You know, we got into um, discussion a while back about how our, we want our comic books to show you things that are happening in the book because we don't want to mislead you with the cover so like you don't see the cover of somebody getting killed. And you go in, that person never even shows up in the right. book. Right. Yeah. Okay, if you watch the um, commercial or the trailer for this particular episode of of, um, of Arrow, you come across with the idea that one Barry's going to get his powers. He doesn't, and he doesn't. Two, he's going to use them to save the Arrow. They didn't do it. No, and three, you kind of get the idea that oh, I don't know, he was a little less spazzy. He was totally spazzy, which is something I had a problem with. Like, okay. One like one part of his introduction that I like was that he's like, "Oh, I'm Barry Allen," like he like he's like, "Yes, viewer, I know you're waiting for me." Well, I'm here. But so that part was okay. But he the way he was acting was more like Kid Flash or Peter Parker or Peter Parker. Really, I mean, like he, he was, was he was Peter Parker. He didn't act like Barry Allen. Like maybe maybe he's auditioning for the next Spider Man. I don't know, but <laughs> but I mean, it just it didn't it didn't feel right. I mean, and I love the fact that they made multiple jokes about him being young. <laughs> yeah, so he, he doesn't get carded at the bar. He yeah. doesn't. I just, I'm hoping that after this midseason break, he comes back and it's just at least a little bit bulkier or something, and, and, and maybe with some blonde hair because you know Barry's blonde. I'm just. Saying. I wasn't going to go to that obvious thing, but I'm just gonna. <laughs> yeah, you know, like yeah. Okay, now maybe you can't do this if you put. An African American actor or uh, or a Chinese actor you or something. Like white that. Actor, though. But you can take a white actor and dye his hair blonde, and he will still look like yeah. that was supposed to be his hair. Mm-hmm. So you know, I'm just saying, make it happen. You know, yeah. Make it happen. And of course, he's uh, hitting on uh, Felicity. I'd do that. Which yeah, pff, everyone would. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I would do that. That's that that that, that would right? happen. Right. Like so, he's like, oh my god, hot nerd girl and glasses. This is gonna work. Like she's throwing herself at him because he knows stuff. Do you yeah. re- you realize how how, how rare that is? is? That's <laughs> he's like, but I'm not rich. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> like is this a trap. <laughs> but um, so I mean, it was an okay episode. It just for how they built it up, 
it they didn't deliver very well. And then now, you know, next episode is the mid season break and I from what we can tell on the commercial, it didn't look like there was gonna be any flash happenings or hijinks going on next episode. Well, they they are basically have said tomorrow they're going to turn on the particle accelerator, so I'm assuming that next episode he'll at least get the powers. But it'll probably happen at the end of the episode. Because it's mid season. I can almost guarantee you all's gonna happen like there's one or two scenarios. Something dangerous is going to happen, and he'll come in at the last second and do super fast speed save, and look at the camera, and his eyes will glow. Or he'll just look at the camera, and his eyes will glow. That's it. Because you know, Flash always has like the lightning. Mm. It's, it's going to be one of those kind of two things. He won't actually get a full fight scene, and if he does, it'll just be like him beating up of like four or five thugs and stand there and, and look cool. Or now I figure somewhere around the, the seven forty five mark, mm-hmm. he'll get blasted with lightning, and then like he'll hear something on the radio or something about Oliver needing help. Go, or, Shazam! <laughs> Wrong character, but Close. Then, but then he'll run over and he'll like Oliver will be just about to get killed and he'll punch dude in the face like two or three times mm-hmm. and then Oliver will look up with a surprise look on his face. Barry will stand there with a surprise look on his face and then it'll go off and then we won't see him again until episode seventeen, which will be fil- filmed in like twenty forty because yeah, they're like making like us wait. April of next I, year. First of all, I am tired of mid season finales. No, no, you don't get like to break in the middle of the season. Your break. Is called like the next season, like the time between seasons is your break. Not you can't just be adding more breaks. I figure they're probably going to try to get episode seventeen in around sweeps. Just give me the episode now. Just just do it. Yeah, no, no, no. Because you you've got to you a sweeps week. That's the week when you want to have your best ratings because that usually generates whether or not you get to stay. So they're going to put that episode on. Or they can give us that an episode week. now, and then for sweeps we freaking like have Batman show up, because you know that would work. You know that would work. It would work. And then give Black Canary actual Black Canary powers. I'm just saying. Or like, or like in episode 17. I mean, if you're really gonna do it, then really do it. Like have in episode 17, have the Flash get his powers, and then have someone have someone with Henry Cavill sounding voice mm-hmm. land behind him. You hear him land, and then say, "We need to talk." Or have, and then and then it can go I, off. Or you, or you can have Flash come back to the city and, and drop something off for Oliver. Because, you know, you know they're going to go recruit Barry way before they recruit Oliver. Yeah. <laughs> Which, by the way, okay, the new Superman movie was supposed to be Superman versus Batman. It has since gotten Wonder Woman, which we'll talk about at another time. Mm-hmm. And they are saying that you're going to get Nightwing. Now, since they've been talking about Wonder Woman for a couple of months and then suddenly we've got her, mm-hmm. I'm assuming Nightwing is going to show up too. Right. So... What we're really getting here is a Justice League movie. Just say it's Justice League. Mm-hmm. Stop trying to yank and, our chains. Right? Just tell us it's Justice League. And put Green Arrow in it, and then like the the the, ser- the season before the movie comes out, just have it end with him getting the invitation, and then just be like, Arrow's going on break for blah blah blah, because you know the just movie. Yeah, just yeah. just just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah. Um, we know. One more thing before the video's over. We saw a um some stuff from uh, Cord Industries, mm-hmm. which means. Not the, the cool, not blue the beetle. cool blue beetle. It's the lame blue beetle. Yeah, the guy in the tights with the big Google eyes. Yeah. Also, yeah. there's a building they went to. Uh, there was uh, the Argus Group. Um, there's a few things in DC that are called Argus, but one of the most uh, exciting ones is Argus, led uh, by Steve Trevor, uh, Wonder Woman's uh, first boyfriend, and, and then the guy who gets just gets gets terribly dumped on. Like when you go from him to Superman. On TV, <laughs> he can't go to bars anymore, dude. Like, <laughs> it's like, dude, you got dumped for Superman. Like, you are never getting back in that. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> but so, um, but yeah, and, and it's also the group that is the liaison between like the UN and the Justice League. So they're starting to they're starting to interweave it. And just I, say Justice please, League. Please, just do it. Like, you're not you're not going to get any more fans. Like or money by waiting, like it's the same amount. Like we're all already hyped. I mean, look, you already said Justice League was going to come out in 2015. Then you said we're going to push it back because we want Superman versus Batman, which has since become Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. You may as well call that Trinity. But you're going to give us Nightwing. Just make a Justice League. You've got a Green Lantern. You've got a Flash. You have a Green Arrow. Manhunter can't be hard. Just. Just do it, like, cause honestly, with, Mar- it. with Marvel, you you can't wait any longer. That's the year Avengers two comes out. You can't let them get two movies in without a league. Come on now, they could. I I mean, they, they could. They, they, they they've made terrible. They shouldn't. They uh, shouldn't. I mean, look, it took them 
20 something years to give us a decent Superman movie after Superman 2 Superman Returns it took them 30 I'm sorry. years I'm sorry <laughs> That was a joke. That wasn't even funny. My bad. That was that was horrible. <laughs> I, like I, I felt it right here. Just <laughs> but and, okay. For someone like um, Mark Wade, Mark Wade, you are my favorite writer. You really are. I and I want you to know that. Bottom of my heart. Side Dude, note: Just finished Kingdom Come. Yeah. Thumbs up. That being said, for you to say that you preferred Superman Returns because. Um, the spirit of Superman was more realistic to the character in that movie. I have to disagree with you. It hurts my heart to disagree and with you. We're not going into it any further. However, if you would like to refute that, send us an email at allshootcomics.gmail.com, <laughs> Mark Wade, and we'll have you on the show. And y'all and can we'll, have and we can a have throwdown. this discussion. Just know, though, the last time you guys met in person and there was a battle of the brains, he rom the space knighted you and you lost. So this defend your honor, sir. This is true. Also, we just want you on the show. <laughs> but so yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, we have some other videos coming out this week. Uh, we got a core hate video. I also talking about Wonder Woman and a few other things. So, but that's it for right now. Until next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid and Black Superman. See you later, guys. Hey guys, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and share our videos like crazy. That's right, because we love you, we want you to love us, and we want to keep making videos for you. And keep leaving us comments. We love comments. Yes, and we answer comments. Unlike some of the other guys, we'll get out there, we'll answer, and if you uh, have a great comment, we'll make a video about it. And if you have a not so great comment, we will try to address that issue. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thanks. Till next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys.